To a first alert traffic issue on the rails, limited service continues on New Jersey Transit's Morris and Essex line due to damage from Monday night's storm. CBS's Elijah Westbrook has more on how riders navigated the morning commute and what to expect moving forward. The next train's at 724. It's been a wild ride for morning commuters who use NJ Transit's Morris and Essex lines. You can catch the 107 bus. It leaves like in a couple of minutes. Confused riders seen here running at the South Orange Station stop, not knowing where to go in order to catch the next best means of getting to work. Many wondering, do you catch the provided shuttle bus into the city or a train that runs once an hour? We caught up with this woman at around 7 a.m. as she figured out how she was getting to New York's Penn Station. It's a matter of where can you go and still call someone to pick you up or figure out how to get home from there. And much like that woman, Monique Matthew here says she has no other choice but to somehow make it to her job as a teacher in Manhattan. New Jersey Transit is one of her only ways of getting to work. Things happen and we're trying to be flexible, but right now I don't know. We just have to figure it out. Where there's a will, there's a way, you know, and that's my motto. With no end in sight for how much longer normal service will be restored after getting the debris and those overhead wires back in place, NJ Transit says to expect additional delays and cancellations in the days ahead. Limited service will operate on the Morris and Essex line between South Orange and New York in Hoboken. The Gladstone branch of the line remains suspended. Cross honoring remains in effect for riders on the Raritan Valley and Montclair Booten lines, NJ Transit and private carrier buses. In the meantime, NJ Transit says customer service ambassadors will be here at the South Orange station and others along the line to help riders navigate their commutes. In South Orange, New Jersey, Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News.